What's going on everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Trailer Valet JXS trailer jack. So this one is gonna be the 2K, but we also have a 5K jack available on our website. If you have a tongue like this and you just want something to clamp on, you don't have one of those center jacks and you don't really wanna have one of those electric jacks because this one's a lot quicker. We can either do it by hand with this little knob or you can go ahead and put it up and down just with this. And that is a lot quicker and a lot easier than some of your basic jacks. I like that this one gives you options with the power drill attachment, but also with the handle. And this handle is really nice. As you can see, this is nice and rubber and grippy and it does have a good bearing in there. So it does make pretty easy work if you are stuck without a power tool. It's just as easy as any other jack. I honestly think that this handle is a little bit nicer than all the ones we carry here. It also looks really good. As you can see, we have a nice black wrinkle powder coated finish. So it gives it a really edgy look, but also it is gonna help it resist against rust and corrosion. So we're not gonna get as much rust as the one we took off previously. We're gonna get 14 inches of total travel. So in this orientation, it's all the way up, which is 37 inches, but we can go all the way down to its lowest point, which is about 23 inches in a matter of seconds. And that's really fast, but to give you an idea of how fast it is compared to an electric jack, I actually, go on a competition with one of my coworkers where we put this thing to the test against one of our faster jacks. And basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna compare the quickness of both our power jack and our valet jack. So this is going to be just your basic power jack and they're typically a little bit slower. So to measure this, we have a piece of tape on top and a piece of tape on the bottom. The one on the top is gonna be about 13 and a half inches off the ground, which is the height at which I need for my truck to come back to hook up my trailer. The bottom one's gonna be about three and a half inches. So we're gonna test and see which one of these jacks is gonna be able to go down about 10 inches the quickest. So let's get going. All right, are you ready, Zach? I'm ready. Ready, set. E trailer. I'm done. Slowly but surely. and time. I probably could have made a cup of coffee in the time it took for the basic electric jack to go all the way down. So hopefully you guys see the difference between the valet jack and your standard electric jack. But now we're going to go ahead and do a raise test. There is a decent amount more weight in the enclosed trailer. So we compensated that by putting a larger piece of metal in the closer part of the trailer here. So it's going to even out and we're gonna go ahead and do a test. You ready, Zach? I'm ready. All righty, let's do it. <laughs> Done again. There it is. Again, the valet jack was the winner by far. 
So if you have the need for speed or you're just in a hurry, whether you're just bringing your boat to the river because you want to fish or if you have these on some of your construction trailers and you want your employees to be as efficient as possible, this is going to be great to think smarter and not harder and it's going to make you work a little less but getting a faster, better result. The inner diameter of this tube is going to be about two inches. So this foot plate fits right around it as a little spring pin. So if you wanted to, you could take this thing off and you can replace it with a wheel. So we have that available on our website. If you do like the idea of having a wheeled jack, you guys can get it with us. And this foot plate, which comes with it, is going to be about seven and a half inches long by about four inches wide. Depending on what's going on on your trailer, you might have to take these measurements into account to make sure you're not gonna hit anything if you have a box or something. So with the handle on, it's gonna come out about six inches, and then the arm is gonna have about six and a half inches in length. The handle itself is gonna be about a little shy of four inches, so that really gets your whole entire hand there. Even if you had gloves, you'll have plenty of grip and the diameter of it, it's about an inch and a quarter. So it's plenty big. So whenever you're going around, the gear ratio is three to four. So it won't take a whole lot of time if you really do need to use the manual jack. A couple more measurements for you. From the top of this mounting bracket to the top of the jack, it's gonna be about 14 inches. So this all comes down to where you mount it. When we pull this little spring pin like that, we wanna make sure that we're not gonna interfere with the ball mount, the vehicle, or anything else that is connected to our trailer. That's basically it. All we really need to do now is show you how to install. So if you stick around, we're gonna show you how we got this bad boy on here. If you are upgrading the jack on your trailer, you need to remove that first. Obviously all of our hardware and everything's all rusted on, so this will be a little bit of a task to get off, but that is step one. If you're using a brand new trailer, you're not gonna have to do this step you can just go ahead and start installing your jack. Now with that done, you can go ahead and do whatever you want with this thing. Toss it to the side, throw it away. We're not gonna need it. You wanna make sure it's gonna fit your trailer tongue. So the maximum height is gonna be about four and three quarters of an inches, which this one is plenty small for that. And then the width needs to be no greater than three and three quarters of an inch. We already did our measurements and it's gonna fit. One thing nice about this is you don't have to save the hardware from the old jack. We do get brand new hardware and that is awesome. So we can upgrade the hardware and the jack all at once. Now to do this, we are using a jack stand to kind of prop this thing up. You can also just do this when it's on your vehicle. We want to make sure we're going to have at least eight inches of clearance to the ground, which we are good there. So now you can go ahead and put this wherever you want. We have a bunch of different holes to choose from. I'm going to just go right here because clearance isn't going to be an issue for us. And then we can take our backing plates just like that, kind of line them up. You can do this by yourself. It's going to be a little bit trickier, but you can do it. So we're going to take our washer and then our lock washer. And we're going to take our nut and go on there and just kind of just get it started. And if you want it to sit on there without you having to hold it on, what you want to do is take the bottom one too. We want to get as close as we can to the bottom of that tongue so that is going to be the best we can get right there. And we're going to do the same exact thing here. And once we tighten up this bottom one, it is going to be freestanding. So it'll be a little bit easier for you. We want to make sure that it's positioned where we want it, where it's not really hitting any of our wiring or anything else we got going on. And then you can take a 17 millimeter socket and wrench on the other side and tighten it down. And we don't want to do go all the way tight. You just want to get it snug on each side. I like to do a star pattern, kind of like the wheels on your car because this way it's going to be tightened down nice and evenly because there is going to be a decent amount of weight on this so we want to make sure it's seated right and 
And now once that's done, you can go ahead and tighten them all up fully. So now we're pretty much done. What you want to do now is either take the crank or the attachment piece, which I like this better. Go ahead and lower that down. Take our jack stand off if you have it. And I'm gonna lower it down to where it's level. Simple as that. And that'll do it for a look at the Trailer Valet JXS trailer jack.